And welcome back, this is Baller Scoopal with more Let's Play Tales of Fantasia. I am joined as always by my ninja squad of Kless, Mint, Chester, Clarth, and Archie. When we last left off, we apparently made it to exactly 600 encounters. That's interesting. I am out of gold. That will change shortly. Uh, we made it to the ninja village. We have some work to do around here. So let's start by uh, exiting town. We're going to start by going to the left. All right, so we're going to go to the left twice. Or, yeah, left twice, but... Uh, no, sorry, left once and then down and down again. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to fight some new enemies, uh, but with our new upgrades, uh, maybe things go down a little quickly around here. Yeah, we're starting to see four digits on normal attacks here. Not every time, but a lot of the time. And they give me a ton of experience, a ton of gold. No items, though. All right, so let's head down here. Remember, left one screen, then down. And here we can get an unknown grimoire. We'll go ahead and try to use that. Um, yeah, sort by new. It might be easier if I just try to find the, uh, the rune bottle. There it is. Use it on the grimoire to get seven books of... Let's go with Hassan. H-S-A-N. Could just be San, but let's go with Hassan. All right, that's going to be a new book for Clarth. The seven cryptical books of Hassan. A grimoire said to be lost, according to rumors from the eastern continent. It increases his attack by 500 with an accuracy of 10. It increases his attack... Uh, net over what he's got now uh, by 150. So, that is really nice. Okay. Um, this time we're going to head back and we're going to go up. Then we're going to go to the right a couple times as we fight uh, I think the grizzly is new. So let's take a look at it. Tree ant definitely is not. Yeah, but uh, we're, we're getting substantial upgrades for all of our work here. All right. This guy's got a ton of HP, so we might as well actually try to take him down. Hey, there we go. Treant, probably not going to be so bad the, these days. And yeah, down you go. Substantial increase in damage. Over 2,000 experience, over 6,800 gold, and we got a level for Mint. She got a new spell. Not entirely sure I remember what her spells were. Let's take a look. I haven't used so many of them. Any of these, just nope. I haven't used them. Uh, we have a Pow Pow Hammer. It's an upgrade to the Pow Hammer. Uh, falls to stun all enemies. One enormous hammer apparently does all that. You also have Barrier. Increase one ally's defense. I'm going to assume Barrier is actually the new one. And Pow Pow Hammer I've just never shown off because I don't like it. All right, head over to the right. Um, yeah, I mean, it's useful. Don't get me wrong, but not in most fights where I want to actually use it. All right, so it wasn't that right. So we will take another. All right, let's... Uh... It would have been great if you, you know, kept on hitting the, the grizzly. Yep, they, they blocked me. Anytime I get hit, that is it. Come on, hit, hit him! Thank you, that's not entirely how I wanted you to do it, but good job, I guess. Just take down the tree ant. It shouldn't be too bad. It's a tree. Chop it down. Eventually, it'll go down. Eventually. All right, over 1,500 experience, 5,000 gold. You got an apple and a mangosteen out of that. Got a lot of TP back. Okay, so up here... Then we want to go... Uh, 
I thought it was up from here. Okay, so I've gone the wrong way. I've miscounted somewhere along the line. That happens in these kinds of forests. All right, more new enemies. We have rangers. They're not bad. Not these days. Not with my damage. Yeah, we're starting to see over a thousand damage on normal attacks. We got two different question mark bows. We might look at those. I'm not entirely sure I need to, though. We might start getting to the point where I don't care what the, the question mark is. Um, let's go up here. There we go. I must have miscounted somewhere. All right, so in here, you can kind of see a treasure chest. This holds a ninja mask. Also known sometimes as a mask, uh, but we can't really do anything with it. Now we're gonna head down here and go over to the east where we were going before. All right, nothing we haven't seen. And I got put to sleep. How's that for an attack? Oh, it's so much stronger now. All right, down to just the grizzly. This guy's got a ton of HP. But we do a ton of damage these days. Over a thousand experience, 2,600 gold, and a caterpillar fungus, which I can actually sell here. And Chester got a level and another art. We'll take a look at that. I do like it when he gets stuff, because he desperately needs it sometimes. Uh, I assume Eagle Shot's the new one here. Shoot an arrow with piercing strength. All right, let's head over to the right. Then we want to go uh, east twice. And uh, that's got to be, what, three times? Oh, it's definitely twice, so it should be around here somewhere. I'm not sure that was the best time to use that particular move, Chester, but I appreciate the efforts. All right, down he goes. And I got an apple for my trouble, plus over a thousand experience, over 5,000 gold. Yeah, I'm making some money. I'm making quite a bit of money. Uh, is it... Yeah, okay, so it's hiding behind this tree here. This is... Uh, where you can find a Nagatsuki. Also something that I can't use right now. Alright, let's head right one more time. Then up. And here we can get a question mark sword. So, we're going to take a look at this. Because it can be useful. It can be. Let's uh, sort by new. Um... Yeah, let's use the room bottles. I can buy room bottles these days. So we'll use it on this sword here. Turns into a doom blade. We'll use it on the bow. Turns into a sand spreader. And this one is a self long bow. Forget that. Okay. Let's take a look at what we got. So we'll look at Klesses first. He has the Muramasa. Huge benefit to us. 750 slash, 400 thrust, 100 accuracy. Yeah, this is the Doom Blade. 1300 slash 1100 thrust. Only 10 accuracy, so a lot less accurate, but um, there's a huge catch to this one. Um, that's that it's dark elemental. So a lot of enemies uh, either absorb or nullify the attacks. So I can't say that I recommend it. It's very, very tempting though. An evil, calamitous sword with a blade that runs dark with the flames of doom. I'm going to equip it and show it off a little bit, but, like, basically this thing is cursed. Uh, notice that the sand spreader and the self longbow, especially the self longbow, uh, are not as good as what we have on the elven bow. Like I said, I might get to the point where I stop caring uh, what's behind that question mark. 
But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what I can do. So if we head down here, back into the ninja village, just like that. Uh, this time we want to head to the right out of town. And we're back outside. Uh, let's go up first. And up here... Is it on this screen? It might be one up more than this. There it is. It's not hidden at all. We can find some ebony wood. Uh, this one we're going to hold on to. It's another uh, trade item, I believe. Yeah, it's a trade item. Material used in first-rate furniture radiates extravagance with its elegant blackness. Uh, we're going to sell that in uh, Venezia. That's where we're going to take that one. Okay, so let's head back. This time we're going to take the southern route, and we're going to test out the uh, the Doom Sword that we picked up against these our owl, owl rounds. Whatever. Oh, they are not going to like this one bit. They don't nullify it or absorb it. Plus, I got a caterpillar fungus for that, and a level for Clarth. Yeah, I might keep this equipped um, until we... And then change it out as needed instead of change it in as needed. All right, if we take the southern path out of there, we can find a blue crystal rod. Another piece of equipment for mint. Blue crystal rod, one hell of an upgrade. A treasure that appears in the legend of Ishtar. I don't know the legend of Ishtar. Uh, I know the name Ishtar. I've heard it so many times, but I don't know if I've ever heard the uh, the legend itself. This might be something just for the game, but it sounds like it could be real. 420 attack, only 10 accuracy, but as you can see, no defense. Um, I've decked her out pretty well on defense, though, so I'm pretty confident she can uh, take a hit or two. Um, she'll take the 10% hit uh, in return for, you know, over double the attack, even though I'm not using her for attack, really. It, it does help if she can attack from time to time. 